Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time, and I need a friend. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Some days are more difficult than others. Nasi, is everything all right? There are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Mati Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them, beginning with Halo. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnath. Just Garnath. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnet. How kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnet's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers.
We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn girl. She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Pardon me? Might I ask a favour of you? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. 
How magnanimous. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are boobatubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that a tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobatuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the Forbidden Forest for Boo Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You can feed a beast or it can feed you. Someone messing about. Hazel must be here somewhere. Levioso. Come on, Hazel. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. 
I should let Madam Bugbrook know if she's safe. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? Just my luck, troll. friend. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakurissa now. Incendio. I don't like this. 
Hello, Hamora. When did I set my traps? Is it lower or upper? What's this? Levioso! <laughs> Poachers? God, if it was right then. I'd better be careful. I hope you have your affairs in order. Glaciers! Reduction! Akio, I won't go down this easy! Flipendo! Hello, Hamora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Levioso! Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we?
Attack here. Incendio. Confirm it. Alohomora. Hogsmeade, here I come. Sakarissa, I found the boo with tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? It actually was a spot of trouble. You never mentioned I might encounter a troll. I think you should pay me more. I suppose a higher price is less offensive than being forced to regard the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our pubescent classmates. Thank you, and your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Did you find my pointy pony? Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now.
do without her. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Oh, biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> This may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. to attend by myself.
Lisa, you've nowhere to go. Yeah, oh, now. I didn't always like it. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. This is going well. Say so myself. Excellent. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well... He was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me? I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I <laughs> don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? 
I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. <laughs> Not bad for a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. about the position that opened up at the ministry. How's my favourite test flyer? Hello again, Mr Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that! Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you! At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade! What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make Spintwitches the most sought-after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it! Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, Made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Ah, <sighs> good for Mr Weeks. Mr Weeks and I do make a good team.